So today I want to talk about the iPhone and I have finally decided to upgrade. I have been rocking the iPhone 6 for quite a while and I'm gonna purchase the iPhone 8. There's been controversy around iPhone in general and Apple where they're going with innovation and the prices seem to just keep going up. The truth is I really love Apple. Steve Jobs and Apple and all the amazing people that work for Apple, they have created these tools that some of us use on a daily basis and they're beautiful products and they work really well. And I'm really looking forward to the upgrade because I've been experiencing some serious challenges with my iPhone 6 in terms of the battery being depleted and the operating system being slowed down and the phone just keeps resetting. The battery is about 95% and the phone crashes and I boot it up again and it will only boot up if I connect it to power. So it's been a bit of a nightmare. I'll give it to Apple. They have come out with a battery replacement program. I'm thinking I'll probably have the battery replaced and possibly keep it as a secondary phone. Like many other countries, the prices of Apple products are pretty steep in South Africa. We pay a premium price to own the premium products, but no one forces you to use them. You could opt for any other phone out there. There are plenty affordable options available, but if you're looking for a product that meets your expectations and it's what you're used to, the truth is also that I'm just used to using Apple products and, and every time I use my, my MacBook Pro and my iPhone, I really enjoy it. So that's my mission for today. It's Saturday. I'm going to head out and try and find a iPhone 8 64 gigabyte space gray model and then also to get a flexible transparent cover as well as a anti-glare screen protector because that's sort of my preferred setup. And I might, I might also get a wireless charger because I'm thinking that might be very convenient. There, there are certainly some features in the new iPhones that I have been looking forward to coming from the iPhone 6. I know it's probably nothing new because all around the world people have been rocking the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and, and all the latest iPhones. Um, I'm, I'm often not really in a rush. I don't mind taking my time. I like to wait it out a bit. I also don't always need to have the latest iPhone because the feature upgrades are often very minor and it's not really worth dropping a whole bunch of money to have the latest and the greatest. So I have had people try and convince me to not stick with an iPhone. They want me to change to Samsung and as much as I'd love to do that, I'm sure there are amazing phones, but I'm very much used to the Apple ecosystem and all my devices work well together. So that's it. I will see what I can find. I'm really looking forward to the upgrade and I'll keep you in the loop. I'll definitely do an unboxing for the fun of it and share my thoughts on the iPhone 8. So I'm back in my apartment. It is later during the day. It's the evening. The sun's already set. I went out to Cavendish to check out if I could find an iPhone 8 and I got one. So there we go. I've got the iPhone 8. That was the easy part getting the iPhone 8. But what was really challenging was finding the accessories that, that I like. So yeah, I'm just disappointed that I couldn't find the accessories to set it up properly. I'm still going to unbox the phone this evening and I'm going to start setting it up because I'm really excited. I tried to also buy a wireless charger and I need to do a little bit more research. I wasn't just going to buy the first one that I could find. Um, it's obviously something I've never purchased before so I don't know what I'm looking for. Super stoked that I could get myself the new phone and yeah, time to unbox it. So it's about a week later and I must say I am really, really happy. I did struggle to find the accessories that I was looking for but eventually I found a, a fairly soft transparent case and I couldn't find the anti-glare screen protector sticker. They actually don't make those anymore. Apparently no one else likes anti-glare screen protectors. So I decided to go with a more robust screen protector in case I dropped the phone so that the protector cracks and knock my screen. 
So here it is all set up. I'm actually recording the audio into this phone. So that's why this is connected. You can see that I went with a transparent case. I also really like the screen protector. I managed to install it fairly well and it fits really well. So my first thoughts coming from an iPhone 6 with a depleted battery that was really struggling is, oh my gosh, it has really been awesome. I've installed my favorite apps. They all work really well. The other thing was that on my old, old phone, my fingerprint scanner hardly ever worked and it was getting so frustrating. And with this new phone, it pretty much works every time. And I'm also really glad that I went for the iPhone 8 and not the 10 because the fingerprint ID seems to work really well. It is super fast. And as awesome as the face ID is, I'm sure I'm just glad I don't have it because I really like the fingerprint ID. So that's it to wrap up this video. I haven't done extensive testing. I've tried the camera. I haven't done any wireless charging, but I'll definitely keep you updated. I'll be making more videos documenting my experience with the iPhone 8. I'm also looking forward to recording videos like this on the iPhone 8 because the front facing camera is obviously 1080 HD, it is not 4K. The rear camera is 4K and it can also shoot ultra slow motion, so I'll definitely be testing that. All in all, I'm really happy, I'm so glad I upgraded. And if you are coming from an older iPhone and you're considering the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, you're not gonna make a mistake, I must say, with the iPhone 8. It's definitely more of the same, it's what you're used to, but it works really well, everything is really impressive, and again, I'm, I'm so glad I got it, and I'm really enjoying it. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about the iPhone 8, or iPhone in general, do leave them in the comments below. Wishing you an awesome day. I'm Sean Toomey, and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.